Ever wondered what al pasta means? Well, let's unravel this tasty mystery. When you dive into the world of tacos, you'll find a language all its own, and al pasta is one of those flavorful phrases. This term refers to a particular style of taco that has its roots in central Mexico. Picture this, succulent pork marinated in a blend of spices, then slow cooked to perfection on a vertical spit. Sounds a bit like shawarma or gyros, doesn't it? That's no coincidence. Al pasta is a beautiful fusion of Lebanese and Mexican culinary traditions. Lebanese immigrants brought the vertical spit roasting technique to Mexico, and the locals added their own twist with a special blend of Mexican spices. This mouth-watering combination led to the creation of the al pastor taco we know and love today. So al pasta, not just a fancy name, but a delicious blend of cultures wrapped in a taco. Now, how about chicharron? Ah! The crunchy, savory delight that is chicharron. This term refers to fried pork skin, a staple in many a taco lover's diet. It's not just any pork skin, mind you, it's usually the belly or back of the pig, boiled until tender, then deeply fried until it puffs up into a crispy golden treasure. It's a study in contrasts, the crunchy exterior giving way to a slightly chewy inside, and the flavor, a heavenly blend of salty and savory with a porky goodness that is simply irresistible. It's a filling that brings a delightful crunch to your taco, a textural element that adds a whole new dimension to your gastronomic experience. Whether it's served in a soft taco shell or a hard one, chicharron is a flavor bomb that will leave you coming back for more. Remember, chicharron is the crunchy delight you didn't know you needed. Ever heard of carnitas and wondered what it is? we're about to peel back the layers of this tantalizing term. The word carnitas translates to little meats in Spanish. It's a term that encompasses a whole world of flavor in the realm of Mexican cuisine. Carnitas is a dish that's created by braising or simmering pork in oil or lard until it's tender. This process coaxes out a symphony of flavors, tenderizing the pork and imbuing it with a rich, savory taste that's hard to resist. The beauty of carnitas lies in its versatility. This tender, flavorful pork can be used in a wide variety of tacos from the traditional street-style taco to gourmet fusion tacos, whether it's paired with a zesty salsa or a creamy guacamole, carnitas finds a way to shine in every bite. So, carnitas is that juicy pork filling that makes your taco irresistible. It's a testament to the magic that happens when simple ingredients are treated with love and care. What about salsa? We all love it, but what does it truly mean? Now let's unravel the spicy secret of this well-loved taco companion. Salsa, a term that originates from the Spanish language, translates to sauce. A true chameleon, salsa can take on many forms, but at its core, it's a vibrant blend of tomatoes, chili peppers, and onions. Each ingredient plays a unique role. Tomatoes provide a juicy base, chili peppers bring the heat, and onions offer a tangy kick. But salsa isn't just about these core ingredients. It's a playground for the palate, where other elements like cilantro, lime, and garlic often join the mix, each adding their distinctive notes. The beauty of salsa lies in its versatility. It can be fiery or mild, chunky or smooth, complex or simple. But no matter the version, its mission remains the same, to add flavor and heat to your taco, making every bite an explosion of taste. So, salsa is the spicy companion that gives your taco that extra kick. Ever enjoyed a barbacoa taco and wondered about its origins? Let's unravel this culinary mystery. Barbacoa is not just a word, it's an ancient cooking technique that hails from the Caribbean. This method involves slow cooking meat to the point where it becomes so tender that it practically melts in your mouth. Now when we talk about the meat used in barbacoa, it's usually beef, goat or lamb. Though the choice of meat may vary, the essence of barbacoa lies in its slow cooking process. This process allows the meat to absorb all the flavors and spices, making it an incredibly hearty and satisfying filling for tacos. So when you bite into a barbacoa taco, you're not just tasting meat, you're experiencing a tradition that has been passed down through generations. A tradition that transforms simple ingredients into a culinary masterpiece. 
So, barbacoa is that slow-cooked hearty filling that warms your heart and fills your stomach. What about pico de gallo? Is it a bird's beak or a taco topping? It's a fair question, considering pico de gallo directly translates to rooster's beak in Spanish. But in the world of tacos, it's a refreshing, vibrant salsa that can add a burst of freshness to your bite. Pico de Gallo is a classic Mexican salsa made from a trifecta of fresh ingredients, ripe, juicy tomatoes, crisp, tangy onions, and fiery chili peppers. Each ingredient is finely chopped and mixed together, creating a medley of flavors that's as lively as a Mexican fiesta. It's more than just a salsa, though. Pico de Gallo is the perfect accompaniment to tacos, acting as a cool, crisp contrast to the richness of the meat and the heat of the spices. It's the finishing touch that ties all the other ingredients together, adding a burst of freshness that elevates the taco to a whole new level. Remember, pico de gallo is not a bird's beak, but a fresh tangy topping for your taco. And who can forget guacamole? It's not just a dip, it's a tradition, a flavor powerhouse that can make any dish come alive. Originating from Mexico, Guacamole is the creamy, rich blend of ripe avocados, a squirt of tangy lime, and a handful of other ingredients that vary depending on who's making it. The star of this concoction is, of course, the avocado. This fruit, yes, it's a fruit, not a vegetable, brings a buttery texture and a subtle flavor that's truly unique. Then there's the lime adding that crucial zing, brightening up the avocado and balancing out the richness. Other ingredients might include tomatoes for a bit of freshness, onions for a crunch, and chili peppers for a kick. And let's not forget cilantro, a divisive herb that for some is the finishing touch to the perfect guacamole. So when you take a bite of your taco and taste that creaminess, that richness, remember, that's the guacamole working its magic, taking your taco to another level. Ever tried a ceviche taco and wondered about its origins? Well, let's dive right into it. Ceviche is a seafood dish that's incredibly popular in the coastal regions of Mexico. It involves marinating fresh fish or seafood in citrus juices, usually lime or sometimes lemon, which cooks it, making it safe to eat. The result is a refreshing, tangy and slightly spicy concoction that's bursting with flavor. The seafood used can vary, but typically you'll find shrimp, octopus or a type of white fish. Along with the seafood and citrus, Ceviche usually includes diced tomatoes, onions, and cilantro, and sometimes, like a little heat, a touch of jalapenos. Now, imagine this zesty, fresh mixture in a taco. Yes, ceviche can make for a fantastic taco filling, offering a lighter, refreshing alternative to the heavier meat options. So next time you take a bite of your taco and experience that tangy, refreshing taste, remember, that's the ceviche, bringing the taste of the sea right to your taco. Ever heard of habanero? and felt the heat. Well, it's time to turn up the heat on our taco journey. Habanero is a type of chili pepper that's known for its fiery heat. It's incredibly popular in Mexican cuisine and is often used in salsas and sauces to add a spicy kick to dishes, including our beloved tacos. Now, a word of caution, handle with care. Habanero is one of the hottest peppers out there so it's not for the faint-hearted or those with a low tolerance for spice. But for those who love a good burn, it's the perfect ingredient. A dab of habanero salsa or a few slivers of the pepper itself can transform your taco, taking it from delicious to dynamite. So, the next time you feel a fiery kick in your taco that makes your taste buds tingle and your eyes water, remember, that's the habanero, taking your taco experience to a whole new level of spicy. Ever tasted no pails in your taco and wondered what it is? Well, let's demystify this ingredient for you. No pailies, ladies and gentlemen, are the pads of the prickly pear cactus, and they're quite a staple in Mexican cuisine. With their slightly tart, green bean-like flavor and a crisp texture, they can be a unique and tasty addition to your taco. Yes, you heard it right, cactus in your taco. But don't worry, the spines are removed before cooking, leaving behind a delicious and nutritious ingredient that's high in fiber, antioxidants and carotenoids. So the next time you bite into a taco and taste something sweet and crisp that you can't quite put your finger on, remember, 
that's probably the nopals, adding a unique twist to your taco. Now, aren't you glad you know your taco terminology? So let's recap our taco terminology, shall we? We started with al pasta, the delightful marinated pork that lends a unique twist to any taco. Then we explored the crunchy chicharron, a crunchy delight that augments the texture of your tacos. Next was carnitas, the versatile pulled pork that can elevate any dish into a Mexican extravaganza. We introduced ceviche, a tangy, refreshing filling that brings the invigorating taste of the sea right onto your taco plate. Next up, we had the scorching habanero, with its fiery kick that catapults your taco to an unprecedented level of spiciness. Lastly, we delved into nopales, a sweet, crisp ingredient that contributes an unexpected twist to your taco. So, there you have it. 10 essential terms every enthusiast should be aware of. Now, you're equipped to leave your friends in awe with your extensive taco terminology at your next taco get-together. Thank you for watching.